<laughs> What's up guys? It's your boy Mike, Hulk Crypto Mining, and today we're gonna repad an EVGA 3070Ti for the Win 3 with the GPU Risers thermal pads. Guys, I'm super excited. GPU Risers is now the official sponsor of the Hulk Crypto Mining channel. Guys, check out my affiliate link below. Let's roll the intro, let's get into it. All right, guys, so what I wanted to do was show you the Hive OS screen before we do the repadding and repasting. As you can see, GPU 4 is running at 102 Celsius, and they start to thermal throttle right around 104. It did reach 104 a couple of times. So I am going to take apart the GPU with you guys and show you how I repad and repaste. All right, guys, so let's take off the back plate. Be very careful when taking out these screws. Make sure you don't lose them. Put them somewhere where you know they're going to be. So when you take off the plate, there are some pads back here. You don't have to touch these. You can leave these be. Now, guys, be very, very careful. Make sure you don't have any fans or anything that is connected. See, there is one right here. I do have to disconnect. Sorry. Let me see if you guys can see it. It is right here make sure you disconnect it look around there are three back here don't just go and pull off this board gonna have to remove the io plate here um, otherwise you won't be able to take the board off okay at least that's what the problem was for me don't pull on these wires okay make sure you pull on it the uh the bracket thing here itself the, make sure you guys don't break the connections ask me how i know I can't think of the name for this right now. So we're gonna measure the pads now, guys. If you don't have one of these tools, definitely get one of these. I'm gonna put a link in the description below to Amazon. It's where I got it. This thing is really, really good in case you don't know the pad size, like we don't know on this GPU. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and measure each individual one to make sure that we get it right. So it looks like, whoops, sorry. It looks like these pads are just about two millimeters. So when you're cleaning these things, make sure you use 90 plus percent alcohol. This is what I use. I use a toothbrush. It's a standard soft toothbrush. I try to do one spot at a time. As you guys can see, I am using alcohol on the board. It is okay to do. Now remember guys, do this at your own risk. I have made mistakes before doing all this learning, so you don't wanna use it on a, don't do this on an expensive card if it's your first time. Um, probably not the best thing to do like I did and I messed it up and I actually had to send the cards to a friend. So uh, dap, don't wipe. I know I'm wiping a little bit here. You're supposed to dap. Um, definitely don't, don't wipe. But just, yeah, give it a one over. You know, you can go a little hard with it. You're not gonna hurt it. The alcohol evaporates really quick. It helps really clean everything. So what I do is I put the pads right on the board. I think it's easier this way, so you don't have to worry about it if you got the exact measurement. So I think it's easier just to do it this way. Remember, there is a plastic coating on the back of this. Make sure you peel it off before you put it back together. We want to make sure when we're screwing these in, you don't wanna go all the way on each one, you wanna go in a little bit, in a little bit, in a little bit, in a little bit, and then just turn it, you know, very gradually. Like, almost like you, you know, you put on a tire on a car, you don't do one lug nut after the other, you wanna spread it out. So I do an X formation, and just little by little until I get it nice and tight. All right, guys, so we got it all back together, all screwed in, let's go plug it in and see what temperatures we get. Okay guys, so we plugged in the GPU. GPU 4 is looking really, really good. We're 84 on the memory, guys, and only 62 on the core. Now the core did go down a little bit after I took this screenshot, and the memory actually went down a little bit, down to 82. So we have a 20 degree drop on the memory using these GPU riser pads, guys. I really, really like them. I highly recommend you get them if you guys are into repadding your GPUs. Obviously, the 3070 Ti's have that GDDR6X, which one's really, really hot. Um, so repadding the GPUs is a good idea. Now, remember, guys, you do void your warranty when you do this. So just make sure that you know what you're doing. Educate yourself before you start taking GPUs apart. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Thanks so much for watching. Listen, one thing about these pads that I found out is they're medical grade. This is the same thermal pads that they use in hospital machines. I mean, it's crazy, right? When you think about it, like these machines obviously can't heat up. And if these machine companies are using these thermal pads, guys, they're probably one of the best on the market. So honestly, guys, I recommend it. Let me grab one here for you. GPU risers, 
Guys, use my affiliate link below if you purchase any. The company is awesome. I highly recommend it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.